Okay. Can we do a series of just turn, gasp, <laughs> turn, gasp? Yeah. Turn? I have a whole reel of them. I'll get three of them. Go ahead. <gasps> wow. Well, hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Grace. I'm Mamrie, and today this might get solved. Solve crime, murder, mystery, etc. Just some lighthearted subjects to mm -hmm. start your morning. Yeah, true crime podcast and that whole world is huge right now. Murder is so hot right now. Murder is <laughs> very trendy right now. Very uh, trendy. Very trendy. Yeah. I'm, it's a kind of, it's having its moment. It's having murder. a moment. It was women and now it's murder. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're gonna try our hand at solving crimes, etc. Hence yeah. our amazing wardrobe. Oh yes. Okay, is this so that like when you're solving crimes, if the murderer's in the room, like they accidentally talk about you behind your back, or like they're yeah. like, I'm, I'm always looking. I got I need eyes two in the back bills. of my head. I need two bills. I like it. This it feels tight on my head. You actually have been to murder mystery events before. I'm obsessed with murder mystery. Yeah. I used to go to murder mystery parties all the time. Mm -hmm. I've thrown them before, but then a friend and I did like a full weekend on Jekyll Island off right. the coast of Georgia, and we were the only people under 65. So immediately, everyone thought we were the murderers, because right. everyone was like a retired couple named like Bonnie and Bill. Right. And then we got up there and we're like two redheads. She's like, um, I own a vintage store in New York, and I'm like, I'm a writer. They're like, you murderers. You're the murderers. I can't move my head normal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do we have these on? Do we look dumb? No. 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 Do we look dumb now? How about now? Of course we do. Smoking is bad and idiotic. Okay. Have you uh, ever been to a murder mystery party? No, I haven't. But I they seem like, like fun. They would be fun. I yeah. feel like you would be a, like a quiet observer. Like, yeah. I feel like I would be interrogating and you would just like slowly piece together by observation. Yeah, sure. I'll take that. Or just be completely disinterested. There's a bigger mystery. <laughs> Does this hotel have Bravo? <laughs> <laughs> Here's a fun fact, Grace. Oh, go for yeah. it. Fun facts. Despite having all the CSIs and all the crazy technology that's going on right now, uh -huh. forensics have been around since the 13th century in China. Whoa! Yeah, it says there's a book called Washing Away the Wrongs from 12. 35 okay. actual time. That's a year. And, and it details the large amount of flies gathering around a sickle, and there was barely any blood, it was invisible, that led to a murderer and his guilt. <gasps> Forensics. Wow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here's something interesting. Hair roots reveal gender. What? Hairs found at the scene <laughs> Uh, reveal crucial evidence, but only hairs with roots attached reveal the gender of the person. DNA is only present in the root itself, and it's that strand of biological material that scientists use to determine gender. So if you got split ends that are just coming off at the scene of the crime, no one will know what gender you are. You gotta get those roots. <laughs> Well, today we're solving a very, very important crime. Stuff has gone down. Chomp. Oh, money. So we have partnered up with Audible. Thank you so much, Audible. Thanks, guys. They are just a wealth mm -hmm. of audiobooks. They have more titles than anybody else. They're unmatched. Sure. You can listen to it on your iPad, your iPhone, your tablet. And they now have speed control, and they have free exchanges, and you guys get to keep the audiobooks that you get forever, even if you cancel your membership. It's not rentals. You own yeah. it. Grace, what are you listening to these days? Uh, I'll Be Gone in the Dark by Michelle McNamara. It's uh, about the Golden State Killer. <gasps> Listen to it with the lights on. Yep. And Audible is especially great for summer because who wants to read on a beach? There's too much glare. I yeah. want to sit and check out hot bods as they walk by while I listen to Golden State Killer. There's you know what I mean? too much glare on a book? What? Yeah, it's all white. And right now you guys can get a free audiobook by going to audible.com slash this might get or texting this might get to 500 500. Thanks, Audible. Yeah. Beans has been robbed! Okay, I like that you took one step away from me to have an entrance for this. I'm gonna take it back to one. Okay. <laughs> Grace! What? Beans has been robbed! No, you don't say! Yes, her mother's diamonds! Your diamonds? No, Beans' is mom's diamonds. It's oh. apparently the only heirloom that she was given from her, that Oh my god. <laughs> Me and myself and Miranda Sings and a UPS guy were all having cocktails on my back porch, like we do. And then I went inside to use the bathroom. When I came back, I saw Beans was filthy, naked, and shaking, but like more than normal. Beans, first of all, I'm sorry for your loss. That must be devastating. Um, you look very perturbed by it.
but we do have some clues. I would love some clues. Okay. Whoa. We have red lipstick. Oh. We have a banana. Whoa. And a piece of brown hair. A piece of brown hair, that also seems like Miranda or a UPS man with brown, brown hair. hair. A petition for a change of name. Bean's original name was Mindy. It was, do you remember that? Yeah, because it sucks as a dog name. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so these are the, the pieces of evidence that were found at the scene of the crime. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow, this does not help me at all. That's yours, I thought that was another, I thought that was like. This is to this. throw you off. Yeah, it's like, now I don't know what to believe. Well, the insurance company employee <gasps> says, oh yes, I know Bean's heart. She already started the paperwork for the claim. The jewels were insured, of course. <gasps> Beans was scheming to get money and set up a fake stealing of her mother's pearls. Would she? I mean, she's never mentioned her mother before today anyway. Wow. The man on the street said during the crime, I saw a lady running away from that house over there next to a pile of empty Amazon boxes. She was small with long brown hair and red lipstick, seemed nervous, was shaking lots. That could be Miranda Sings, or it could be Beans. <laughs> Miranda Sings says, Ew, why are you talking to me? I have very important things to do right now. That was good. Thank you. <laughs> Almost too good, help. <laughs> <laughs> was it me? The UPS guy said, the red-haired lady said she couldn't sign for the package until she finished her afternoon martini. Oh. Obviously, I have Accurate. standards. Mm -hmm. I was carrying so many packages that I couldn't see past the boxes, and so I didn't see the dog or the robbery. Sorry, can you please sign for this? When Beans was asked, mm -hmm. she said nothing. Oh, that's so like Beans. <laughs> So you went into the house, yeah. and while you were in the house, the crime had occurred. I was taking a dump. There's more! It was very loud, couldn't hear a thing. <laughs> so Miranda was left in the backyard with Beans. And the UPS man who couldn't see anything. Who couldn't and see Beans was filthy and shaking. And Beans had already put out an insurance policy for the jewelry. And the banana, what's the banana? I don't know, it could be a metaphor, it could be... A snack. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Not all clues are clues, you see. I'm going to say that Beans just bamboozled everyone and mm, set up a fake stealing of her mother's pearls to get money to change her name officially. Actually, it was Beans, a.k.a. Mindy. <gasps> Wait, I got that right? You got it right, dude. What the what? I know. Beans is alias Mindy? She, Shut up. So she was doing the name change. She wanted to keep the jewels and the money from the insurance payout. So she hid the jewels under her banana bed metaphor. Oh my god. And and I guess then she just rolled around in the dirt because, you know, she's like a dog. Yeah. Great job on your wow. first. We need to have our own murder mystery party. I would love that. Um, that was a completely blind guess that I definitely thought was wrong. So good for me. Cheers. Cheers. Grace, who do we have a gratitude problem with today? Today, it comes from Karis Lee. She wrote an original song for the show. Listen. Hi, my name is Mamrie. And hey, my name is Grace. Together we made a show that'll put a smile on your face. With our cool crew we air five out of seven days. So buckle up and hold on tight because we'd like to say this might get. Fly, swole, mad, beat, search, sprung, crushed, fake, spilt, clean, real, curse, misread, urgent, made, and sloppy, cryptic, eastern, relaxed, prompts, touchy, classy, dreamy, festive, mythical, legal, pitiful, and WWE. And don't you worry, don't you fret, there's more stuff coming, we're not done yet. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. What a sweetie! Thank you so much, Karis Lee. This is on YouTube if you guys want to go check out the rest of the song. And if you guys want to be featured in any of our gratitude problem segments in the future, make sure you uh, tag us on all your social media platforms. Hashtag this might get. And in the meantime, subscribe to us. We're here every Monday through Friday hanging out with you. Make us a part of your daily routine. Turn on those bell notifications. Yeah. Let's now, move it. It's a good thing I didn't trust Beans to begin with, because I'll never trust her again. I was behind it the whole time. <laughs> Fly, swole, mad, beat, search, sprung, crushed, fake, spilt, clean, real, cursed, misread, urgent, made.
made in sloppy, cryptic, eastern, relaxed, prompos, touching, classy, dreamy, festive, mythical, legal, pitiful, and WWE. And don't you worry, don't you fret, there's more stuff coming, we're not done yet. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time.